Hello and welcome to Curtside Fitness. What you're gonna be joining me on today is a full day of eating and it's gonna be a ketogenic diet. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do a keto diet. It's literally something um, I've obviously studied this a long time ago, but it's something that I've never actually done myself um, until now. Um, I'm already a week in, had fantastic results, got sort of five pound loss this week um, and maintained a lot of muscle as well. So it's not like I'm losing loads of muscle. Um, this is exactly what I'm going to eat throughout the whole day and exactly what I have been eating throughout the whole day. I'm just going to give you a look. Obviously, if you're interested in keto diet, this is how to do it. So this is for fat loss. Let's get to work. So first things first, uh, first thing in the morning, just before my breakfast, um, I always make myself uh, what's called a bulletproof coffee. I do have a video on this, uh, although on my video I don't use grass-fed butter. That's what you're supposed to do, and that's what I've done today. So as you can see, nice and frothy. No sugar required, although sometimes we do put some stevia in there. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful coffee. First thing in the morning, just kick starts that kind of hormonal system in the body, gets you burning fat nice and quick. So first meal of the day is gonna be four eggs, um, and then I have a drink of my BCAA, uh, which is PhD um, BCAAs, um, just a little half pint of that as well. So four eggs, BCAA drink, breakfast. So meal number two of the day is, I have 100 grams of salmon, 50 grams of spinach and 20 grams of coconut oil. Just finished training and I'm now about to go enjoy that now. Uh, meal three literally is, I've got 100 gram of chicken in here, 100 gram of broccoli and 20 grams of coconut oil. Um, so that's my next meal. This is literally the meal I have the most of, so I'm gonna have about three of these meals a day. But, the coconut oil makes the chicken taste lovely. You do have a little bit of seasoning on here. I've used a seasoning called Slap Your Mama. So that's a kind of a chili seasoning. Um, so yeah, now about to enjoy meal number three. So here you can see I have 50 grams of almond nuts and pink Himalayan salt. And what I do is just add a pinch of the salt to the nuts and then snack throughout the day. So one thing uh, when you're on a ketogenic diet is you do have to make sure that your sodium levels are nice and high. Um, well, not super high, obviously you don't want too much salt. But you just have to make sure you're getting enough sodium. Um, so as you see from uh, the last thing I little clip, um, I have 50 grams of almonds and I sprinkle kind of literally just a pinch of pink Himalayan salt on top of those. Um, and that's something that I'll snack on throughout the day. So as soon as I get a little bit peckish, go into those and uh, we'll be snacking on them throughout the day. So I just wanted to show you that I include those uh, and include the sodium as well in the diet. So like I said, I'm gonna be snacking on these throughout the day. 50 grams of almonds. So as you've probably just seen, spent uh, the afternoon down the beach. So I was just snacking on the nuts throughout the afternoon. Now come home for my fourth meal of the day. So fourth meal is exactly the same as the third meal of the day. We have 100 grams of chicken, 100 grams of broccoli, and 20 grams of coconut oil. So on to meal number five. What we do now is a little bit different to what we've done for the other meals um, by adding this here. So these are bare naked rice. Um, and as you can see on the back, literally 0.1 grams of carbs, total of eight calories. So I just add this to uh, meal number five, just to give it a little bit of sort of 
fullness to the meal. Um, also having 100 grams of chicken, 100 grams of veg, 20 grams of coconut oil. So it's about half nine at night and we're on to my last meal of the day. And what we're gonna do is we have three eggs with nine grams of um, olive oil to cook it in. So here they are cooking at the moment. Um, they're gonna be the last thing I have and then about an hour later, I will be going to bed. Um, just gonna pop a little bit of seasoning on those and some Maggi sauce as well. So we're on to the last, last meal of the day. And I saved this one um, as a massive treat meal. And this is a chocolate fudge and peanut butter treat for me. Um, it's all keto style. I've used um, all um, cocoa powder with cream cheese to make the fudge. I've used um, obviously organic peanut butter. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Absolutely amazing. I'll put all the calories up here so you can see exactly what's in it. I'm gonna get a video done on this as well just so I can show you how to make it amazing. So thanks everybody for watching this video. Hopefully if you're planning on doing keto, this has helped you a lot. As you can see, my totals for the day were 28 grams of carbs, which is 112 calories, which uh, equals to 3.7% of my macros. Protein was 197.3, which is 789.2 calories, which is 25.9%. And then fats were 237.6, which is 2,138.4 calories, which equals 70.4% of my macros. Total calories, 3,039.6.